What happened with Jasper was nothing. Nothing compared to what could have happened. And I promise never to put you through anything like this ever again. This is the last time you'll ever see me. It's time. Yes, it is. We have Caitlin and Sherry. These two Hello. love Twilight, big Twilight fans. And we have Teresa, who's never seen Twilight. And me, who who is uh, very neutral. And Dana, who, um, you know. Doesn't care for doesn't Twilight care for so very much. So we're going to get everybody. Interested in hearing, <laughs> I'm very interested in hearing what these girls find appealing exactly. in the Twilight. So we're going to get series. everybody's point of view. Guys, Twilight, the saga, the trilogy, the, what is it, six? How many movies are there now? Five. Five, five movies. All five. So it is, it is a popular franchise. Yes. It's doing very, it did very it well. Is, it's over, it right? Well. Oh, it's, it, it was the last it's one. So, it, was, it was. And it was great. It was right? so good. Okay. First, tell us why you like Twilight. I feel personally, and this is personal, I, mm -hmm. I'm, I can only speak for myself, that Twilight and all the movies is an analogy for how women really want people to have sex with them. There's three movies of foreplay before they finally get to the main <laughs> <part. laughs> okay. Then they have sex. Finally. Okay. And it's amazing. And then she gets to sleep for a week. <laughs> she then okay. wakes up again and then they have epic vampire sex that's like the most <laughs> orgasmic, crazy, like like euphoric experience. I'd like to have sex like physically that. possible. <laughs> and no, vampires don't ever get tired. They don't get hungry. They don't they don't need to like they they don't have to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So they can just keep going until like they actually have like an obligation to be somewhere. Hmm. And they'll go on and on and on. They break beds. <laughs> it's been on, there was sex on the beach. Like it's just like every fantasy you could have and like you never like there's no like oh I'm getting sore, let's take a break. <laughs> <laughs> no. They just go Okay, on it's just fun to rate it R. And, oh. Okay, rated R episode. Is this like let me stop you for a second. Uh, there's some people who there's a, there's a couple of guys out there who clicked on this very curiously because they were like I don't like Twilight, but I'm gonna click on this because I love this cinema couch. Let me just click on this thing, and now you've made them Twilight fans. I know. Like, I want to be Twilight now. I know. I have no idea what's going on. Seriously, no one told me about this. Is this, is this the last one? This is Breaking Dawn Part One. And the, two. Last two. <laughs> the last two. The last two. Breaking Dawn. The last two when they finally have sex. They finally hook up and they finally have some good sex. Oh my God! It makes it all worth. And you're like, yes! It's like. Did they sparkle mm. when they have sex? Oh my no! Well, because so, the sun isn't shining. It's, oh, like, so it's the only the, sex in the, the sun. The main, sparkling. the main star is what's her name? Christian. Christian Stewart. 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 Is Stewart. her name Dawn? In the movie? No. no. Okay, no. I thought that's why it was called Breaking Dawn. No. No. Because he was Breaking Dawn. <laughs> 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 I'm 
breaking dawn. It's breaking dawn because it's. I thought that was her name. Oh. That's what he was doing. Welcome to the next screen. Edition of the cinema couch. That's why I like. I just got it. You got it. Like, oh, oh, oh. It's breaking down. No. <laughs> but if there is not a porn already in existence called Breaking Dawn, there certainly will be now. There will be now. Yeah, this, this is like sitting on the couch after dark. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I actually love, uh, love Twilight. I haven't seen the last two. But oh, it, just... I know what you're talking about. That playful thing. They keep playing around, kissing a little bit. Mm -hmm. Or flat. Yeah, that's why I was just like, Ugh. that leg hike in the third movie when they're on the bed and like right before he proposes to her and then does that long line about like had drinking like iced tea on the porch in the on the porch or whatever and they're mm -hmm. going at it on that bed and, like they're starting to undress. Yes, he's like, and yeah. I want to be married to you first. And you're like, <laughs> oh god. Oh wow. Well, I will oh, say, oh, I will wow. say, like lady just. just to add to your point, I do love Robert Pattinson and the old, the sense of chivalry and that old um, sense of like he treats courting, like a lady, like, a lady yeah. like back in the 1900s when a lady was a lady and a man was a man and the men courted the women and they yes. treated them, mm -hmm. you know, with respect. respect, they opened the door for you, mm -hmm. you know, and I think that's kind of lost. They on, watched on you lost. while you sleep, yeah. yeah. <laughs> does, he, does he watch her while she yeah. sleeps? Yeah. Yeah. I've heard about this. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think creepy. it's very it, it does sound a bit creepy to me. I, I think it's very endurance. endurance. It's creepy, but she he loves her. So uh -huh. it's that's like no, okay, it would be Hold creepy. Hold on, but the creepy guys say they love the girl too. <laughs> 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 By right. like other vampires right. up to that but point. But this, this mm -hmm. kind of like protective thing is part of what. But he was just watching. What? What do you mean? Moment. Is that they're so like? It seems like her whole world resolve revolves around this vampire, mm -hmm. and the most important thing in her entire life is this relationship. And I feel like that's mm -hmm. a really dangerous message to no, get. No, actually, it, it 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 isn't because um it you know it to me Twilight is sort of like. A modern day sci fi fantasy Romeo and Juliet mm -hmm. version where you do, you know, what will you do for love? I, mm -hmm. you know, in that aspect, and how far will you go for true love? But if you watch the whole Twilight saga, you'll see that, um, that Bella, she starts out like most typical schoolgirls, like all giddy about the guy and it's all about the man. But then you see her progress and you see her grow as a woman and as an individual. Mm -hmm. And she fights. She fights not only for the man that she loves, but she fights for her family. You know, she when she thought her mother in, in Twilight, the original Twilight, um, she thought that her mother was in danger. She came. She went running to go save her mother, even though she knew she had no chance to, you know, up against a vampire. Mm -hmm. You know, so she she does like, you know, this vampire is a very crucial part and important parts in her life but she also has that element where I have obligations and loyalty towards my family mm -hmm. I have to make sure my my family is protected as well yeah. and you know I also feel like at the end of the third movie mm -hmm. when he like he was always trying to convince her not to want to be a vampire too mm -hmm. and she was saying like you know she wasn't choosing being a vampire for him she was choosing a vampire for her because she felt mm -hmm. like it, that world was like more where she belonged. Mm -hmm. It was like finding a sense of belonging or a sense of purpose. And then... But she doesn't get to choose to be a vampire, does she? Yes, she, she does. She does. She does. She's the only choice. vampire who got to choose. She, she chooses it. And she chooses it not because she wants to be with him, but it's because get, like, dragged it's where it. she feels yeah. she fits in. Because she... Um, if you watch the whole thing, like in the beginning, she feels kind of like an outcast. Like she's sort of like yeah. the outcast in like you know um, the but, high school. The yeah. way you call them, the nerds and the geeks. Like exactly. she's the outca outcast, and she mm -hmm. never felt a sense of belonging or you know uh, that she ever fit in. She was you know? always kind of like awkward, awkward, and and all over the she, place. That's when she was really close. She to was Jake. stumbling through life. Is right. Jake? Is Jake? Right. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, Jacob. Yeah, Jacob she was. Jacob she the the developed world. a close yeah. friendship with Jacob. Okay, so but then also at the end of the very last movie, she saved them all. Right. Like it was her power of like being what they call a shield is mm -hmm. what like so after like Didn't everyone she went thinking, through her pregnancy though. No, she was always a shield. Okay. Just when she became a vampire, she was able to control it. Mm -hmm. Because even from when Edward first fell in love with her, it's because he 
the only person he ever met that he couldn't read their mind. Mm. And it was because they find out later when all these other vampires from all over the world said, oh, you can't read her mind because she's a shield. And they're like, what's that? Mm. And they're like, oh, she blocks out all the other powers that we all have. And she was able to learn how to expand her shield. And the reason they won the battle against Volturi and protected the whole like team of vampires is because her shield was able to be projected over all of them. So, like, none of the mind tricks and powers of the Volturi that could ultimately mm -hmm. kill them all um, was able to infiltrate. So, it was just this really interesting twist because it's like all this time everyone thought they needed to protect her and take care of her and she was so helpless. But in, it all turned out that she was stronger than all of them. Mm. So, it was mm -hmm. like, oh. But it was inner strength that she had to discover on her yeah, own. And so, the Twilight's you know, in terms of Bella, it's mm -hmm. a journey of mm -hmm. self-discovery and discovering who you are as an individual and finding where you where you fit in this world. That's why I think so too, because she was in high school. Because I was like, that's during the time when you like, it's towards the ending, she was finding herself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She didn't know where she wanted to be. That's why she's like, I feel like I I'm fit, I fit in being a vampire. Mm -hmm. She okay. didn't know where she wanted to be. She was finding herself. All right, so so Teresa, as somebody looking in on this that doesn't know about Twilight, what do you like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, this is yeah. just like what is your take about this? Because see, I'm 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 learning. Right now. <laughs> yeah. I'm learning. I'm learning. There's that sex stuff going on. There's a lot of sex apparently. A lot of sex uh, yeah, you know, a lot of good sex. And but there's a, a there's, there's, there seems to be a, a message mm. that they're sending to like women about. Uh, Sherry talking about family, being, yeah, and shield and, I mean, and, and, and saving and the world about it, or that something. She was very like important that. to the story, and very important to saving everybody. It seems like there's a, a message. So, what, what do you what do you take from all that? Like, what do you, I don't know. It just sounds like movie? there's like and I'm really bad at like following these like movies that have like a million sequels. So it's right. probably something like I haven't seen the Lord of the Rings movies, and my boyfriend wants to kill me because I've never seen them oh, and wow. I just refuse to see them. Mm -hmm. I one day I'll see them. Those are great have, movies, by the way. I don't have four hours to like you know. Four hours. Four hours. It's like Per movie. Like per movie, movie exactly. Yeah. And I it's don't four know. hours with no other ethnicity other than white people. Too. Yeah, exactly. What's up with that? There are no Asians in There's anything. No anything. No anything. Just exactly. white people on Earth. Um, I don't yeah. know. It sounds like it could be, I mean, I don't know. It, it's like something I'd really have to be in the mood for, mm -hmm. I think. Okay. I'd really have to want to watch lots of foreplay. <laughs> if you want to get in the mood, I would recommend a Twilight Marathon. Really? Yeah. Like, oh, wow. the next Snowpocalypse and you and your boyfriend are snowed in. Mm -hmm. Have some wine, mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. Twilight, you'll think us And just tell him to wait for Break of Dawn. Like, okay, I know we can get it through yeah, the if, if you want, Break of Dawn's coming, If you want to get it on, just skip to the last no, two. No, the three. No, the third one is really hot. Oh, oh okay. Right. That's so, the foreplay. You've got to watch the third one it's and then play to the fifth one. Oh, oh wow. You, no, but you know what I've seen I thought was hot? Hmm. The scene when they, um, he took her out to the woods and he was like, do you know who I am? And she was like, yes. What am I? Oh my god! Oh yeah! yeah. Like, it's like, say it! Yeah, say, say it! Say it, say it out loud! That say was, it! Yeah, that was the hottest moment Say it! I was like, say it! <laughs> Even though Edward is the main vampire, right? He yes. looks very young. Mm -hmm. He yeah. is. How old is Edward in his movies? He's 109. Right. He's so are we saying? So in his movies, are they saying it's okay for a young woman <laughs> to date an old man as long as he looks young? Oh. No, no, no. In in because he's a vampire and vampires right. don't age. Technically, mm -hmm. he's 109, but he's like when they when you when you become a vampire, mm -hmm. you. When that change happens, you stay that age stay forever. So that's he's 17. That's understandable. But every year, every decade, human, we, we, we evolve. So mm -hmm. it's only 30 years from now we'll say, oh, 109, that's a new 30. <laughs> <laughs> it's, only, it's only a couple of decades when we say that. Uh -huh. So he, even though he, he hasn't, his body hasn't evolved, uh -huh. his mind has. He has a mind of 100 years. Yes, man. yes, that's true. There's You're a right. lot of knowledge there. Yes, that's right. I and agree. apparently he uses yeah. this to go date high school girls. <laughs> 
<laughs> it actually sounds like a very realistic scenario. Because a hundred and nine year old man who looks young, I see him going after girls' house. Maybe. Like, I, but see, don't you like grow in that 109 years and when you want to? You evolve in those 109 years. Yeah, you would years. think you want like a more mature woman. Even you, though he looks young. See, it, it, it makes kind of makes sense so. now when when he's like, oh, I want to wait. That's why he pulled back like mm -hmm. in the beginning. Yeah, he oh, hesitated, really. and there was a, a point in um. In, well, let me in, like in ask you guys. Where he left. like waiting? Do you think is there like an unspoken message underneath this that girls who don't wait are bad? Like, does it hold like a moral standard mm -hmm. of like? No, because no. she like you want to have sex, no. and like, he's like protecting her from her own sexual mm -hmm. drive. Mm -hmm. like, no, it's own. he's just because he's a hundred and nine. And they, they do, like, have scenes like this. It's like, it, she's 109, you know, it's because he's from another time, and mm -hmm. it's when, like, mm -hmm. marriage and dating were very different. And right. he, like, But is it idealizing that. that time when marriage and sex were different? No, because everyone else in the, 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 everyone else in the family, like, all the other vampires are paired off and not married, and they talk, joke yeah. about how much sex that they all have. Oh, so wow. it's not, like, everybody yeah. else. Yeah, Arnbella and like, Edward held, held as the ideal, though? No, I feel like Carlisle and Esme are held as the ideal. They're the patriarch, the parents, the, yeah. the, pa the parents, and like, you know, I. They're more like the ones where it's like, you know, right. everyone thinks like at first in the family was like not necessarily on board with Bella being mm -hmm. a vampire, and sure. like a lot of them were like, this could implicate us, and this would be a lot of problems for us. So it's not like anyone was holding it on a pedestal. So for you guys, it's more of like. A demonstration of the type of relationship that you might like to have, or there's um, more. It's, is this the sort of thing um, that you're looking for? Personally, I don't think I would. Aside want from the vampirism like thing, you don't want a vampire. From the possibility of becoming undead. The, <laughs> I, would, I like the fact that I won't be able to age. I wouldn't mind being able to live forever right. and yeah. look like this right, right, yeah. for the next hundred like years. In eternity, right? I, in eternity, I'm with you there. and having like endless sex right. if I want to. <laughs> right. That sounds bed breaking. Bed breaking. That sounds, that's that's breaking. That sounds really good. With you, fellas? Are you, are you still watching, guys? See, no, that sounds good. Because all sounding good. good. But then Edward, he's but just but like, as far he as like the way Edward treats fellas, the way that you think that he would feel like them. they like to be treated and stuff like that. Well, I mean, there's the the point. He's some ways like the chivalrous mm -hmm. aspects and how he's a old little fashion, bit old fashioned mm -hmm. and charming and. Really he's chivalrous because he protects her. He's chivalrous because um, he's chivalrous because mm -hmm. he protects her in the way that he treats her, and he tries to like court her. Mm -hmm. And it's it's very interesting to see the contrast because she's modern. You know, she's young. She's a teenager. Mm -hmm. So she, so her version of dating and 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 getting together with a guy is totally different from him. Mm -hmm. And you see like this power struggle because he wants this. You know, he wants to do it the right way, the way that he was brought up and the way that he knows and she's like come on I just want to do it already it's right. not that but, big of a deal but, like, you, but you said the right way <laughs> you want to do it the right way I don't see it as like a you know, right like, way or wrong way but just like, like I mean what if that it was like because she's from like the future so she's like a future girl, and he's from the past. So right. I guess but she's from now, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. So she's but like, him, like, yeah. So she's like, oh, I, I want it now. And he's like, you know, we usually wait. Mm -hmm. This yeah. is how it's done. Oh, he's trying yeah. to tell like, wait. Yeah. Well, he's also a hundred nine year old virgin. Oh wow! Oh, really? Like you didn't know? You didn't know it's not like he's just no, making yes. her wait. Well, wait, wait, I didn't. Oh wait, I, he's a virgin. Yes, I did not know that. He's, he's a virgin. Oh, wow. He's a hundred and nine year old virgin. He he. That's the one rule he. Are you sure? Yes, in the third movie. <laughs> in the third. I did not know. I missed. I'm sorry, the, I missed that part. In the third movie, when he shuts her down, she was like confused, and he's like, "It's the one rule I want to left on want to leave unbroken because but, he's killed uh, people. He's done all this. Like, the one thing because he values his sex. soul." Okay. Is that he wants to wait till he's married to have sex? But does that suggest that it would endanger his soul to have sex before marriage? But he's already. Oh, no. so Dana, you think there's another message in Twilight? Yes. Mm. Yes. Well, you think I, that'd be I a think good that there's, I think that there's some conservatism Something. that runs within. It's definitely well, there's the definitely conservatism. I agree with you. In, in, um, that I think is not so healthy for girls. Is what is, I agree. I, I agree that there's, there's well, there's he's a virgin too. Right. Of, you know, so I don't. There is definitely a high level conservatism. I mean, if we're all getting this excited about the sex in the movie, obviously most of us didn't wait till marriage. Um, <laughs> but um, I think that not like you I know, mean, not that saying like the waiting till marriage is wrong. Like that's a decision that people make, and I completely right. respect that. I just don't like the idea that the message is getting out there that you're making an immoral choice if you choose no, not to do that's that, and that the relationship ideal that's is like. 
you've got this guy, he's kind of the center of your world, you wait until marriage, mm. and then you'll have bed-breaking sex, and then you get pregnant, but it's okay, you know. No, I, 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 I agree with you on certain points. Mm. It is a conservative, because Stephanie Meyer, I believe she's a Mormon. She's a Mormon. She's a Mormon, so oh. she, she is conservative, oh. so the book I didn't was, know that. I didn't know that either. She she's a Mormon. She's, 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 a Mormon. She's, 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 she's a Mormon, so she is definitely con conservative herself, and so her books are written in a conservative manner because okay. of the author. However, um, you, you know, it, it's, it's not like this issue where, um, you know, it's morally wrong if you have sex before marriage or anything like that. It just gives you different points of views of how people view relationships and how people view sex. Like, you're focusing on the main character, Bella and Edward, but also there are other, these, there are other relationships that are going on, you know? And also, I like to... The thing that sticks out to me is um, there's it's not so much that it's immoral that if you have sex before marriage, it's that there's more to a real relationship, relationship exactly. than the sex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not a matter of like when they have sex. There's so much more to like connecting with a person and having a relationship that's going to be built to last mm -hmm. than having sex with them and when you have sex with them. Like if it's really truly like love it doesn't matter when you have sex if you have sex on the first date if you have sex on the hundredth date right. if you have sex before right. or after and date. i think that's the message right. that you want to send out is like exactly right like exactly right mm -hmm. but i think the movie conveys the opposite thing is that it does matter when you have sex because they place so much importance on when well you it only matters you to him mm -hmm. and not to her so i feel like there's that clash and i don't mm -hmm. think it's a matter of like you know, it, it, there's so much of her being modern and not caring that I feel like that cancels it out. Mm -hmm. And also, like, I feel like that whole, like, her making him the center of her his world is not uh, him the center of her world. It's not so much, like, that it's teaching teenage girls to do that. I don't know about you, but when I was a teenage girl, every guy <laughs> I liked was the center of the universe. Like, that's just how they are. Yeah, I feel yeah, like it's, yeah. like, accurately, like, mm -hmm. dipping in to, like, how a lot of teenage girls get when they like a boy and like mm -hmm. not just me but like a lot of friends I was in all girls high school and if you were in the locker room during gym class <laughs> mm -hmm. there was one topic of anyone's conversation and it usually had to do with a guy yeah and it's just like they get boy crazy at that age your hormones and it's just like you know and you're getting all like mm -hmm. new feelings and mm -hmm. urges and you just want to make out with them all the mm -hmm. time and right. hang out with them and what are you guys doing after school but to me that there's always been tied into that this mm -hmm. messaging that you're getting when you're a young girl mm -hmm. that the boyfriend matters so much and if you don't well that's in boyfriend. the beginning that's in like the first your twilight is but because it's a saga danger. there's like five right um series to it like in the first one yes i can see if you only watch the first one that's where you would get it from but if you yeah. watch the entire series you yeah, see so her grow mentally physically and emotionally and develop and where she realizes that you know what Edward can't be the center of my universe Edward is I love him and he's a part of my life but there are also other people in my life there's my father my mother um, my friends her? Jacob what about her yeah because if you think about it in the beginning in the first one she was trying to like figure out which one she likes well she it's it's it's, 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 it's self-discovery okay. she's trying to figure out my Bella out myself she like she needs a my Bella myself moment where she's just, she goes I guess she has she has she that at some point I feel like she gets she has that point yeah I feel like point. she does grow into that when mm -hmm. when it's that last movie and mm -hmm. there is like when you know there's a really pressing crisis for the family like she's the one that like steps up to the plate and like gets them mm -hmm. through it you know like mm -hmm. there was so much like when there was like the Alice predicted that they might not make it she like went behind everyone's back and like formulated this whole elaborate plan of like what was who was going to take care of their daughter because mm -hmm. like basically mm -hmm. Alex pred Alice predicted that like basically the only one who would be able to survive if they didn't mm -hmm. survive would be the baby so she was like went and like snuck around behind Edward's back mm -hmm. and had like fake like documents, passports, passports and, ID and IDs to made to Canada everything. with Edward um, I'm with sorry Jacob, with, with Jacob with so Jacob. he would like take the baby and all this stuff okay. so it's like she was the one who really stepped planned ahead the and then stepped up to the plate when it came to them like winning okay so um I'm get a little off topic with uh with Bella. No, no. <laughs> I think we're getting uh, it's, 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 it's very it's very interesting what you guys are saying we do have to keep missing sex every five minutes so, <laughs> so I'll get back, I'll get back to that um, but 
uh, I'm, I'm thinking about Therese now. From somebody looking outside, could you guys explain, okay, the vampires. They're not like vampires you would see in Blade or you yeah. would see in no. Interview with the Vampire. They're, they're sexy different. vampires. So, so tell us how these vampires are different. Like, <laughs> we gotta put sex in there. So okay. sunlight doesn't affect them. So, they get shiny no, in the sun. They, they just, their skin Barbers. glitters. Okay. They shimmer. They shimmer. And that's how you know they're different. Because but they're not supposed no. to be out. But does the sun hurt them? No, no, no. It doesn't hurt oh, them. It just, it, it just it makes, just makes them, them noticeable. They like glisten. It bling, blings them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah bling, bling. Yeah, yeah. makes their skin look all like bling out. Okay. Like they're Victoria's Secret models. Oh. Yeah. Like, so nobody. So basically, in order for them to keep their secrets, they can't let you, them. You see them in the sun. That's why they live in yeah. places like Seattle, though, where it rains all the time. Right. It's That's like, why the movie um, takes place in 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 uh, Seattle, okay. Seattle mm -hmm. or, or Forks, Washington. For, Forks, Washington, which is near the Seattle area, where it, they're under a constant cover of cloud and rain all the time. So they're so they couldn't live in like California or anything like okay. that. Okay. Yeah, they couldn't live in California. Yeah. Okay. And do they drink blood? How's the blood? Thing yeah. Like? Okay. Okay. How they they know, blood, but they choose not to. Like certain, they choose so not to. They okay. They they crave human blood, but right. they can be sustained off of animal blood, and they consider that like their version of vegetarianism. Yes. So the Cullen family are vegetarian vampires, and they will drink the blood of deer. Okay. Okay. okay instead so of human blood, because they want to live harmoniously with the humans. And the difference between like the blade vampires and the mm -hmm. twilight vampires are the twilight vampires are supposed to be the perfect human specimen. Okay. Like perfectly ripped body, skin mm. is like etched in marble, Guys, gorgeous so hair <laughs> and eyes. Okay, so they're, they're and gorgeous. Okay. Gorgeous. Do they and become because, ripped after they become vampires? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yes, like, that's why I want to be a vampire. So that's so that be like a workout video. Yeah. Oh. Vampire. Yeah. Body becomes yeah, like you the become, you become perfect. Yeah, you're, you become, you like, become uh, physically, okay. aesthetically as perfect as you possibly wow. could be. Ooh, did Bella transform? Yes, yes. yes. She looked, she looked, she looked, the fifth um, one. And she was look oh. better. Yes, yes. Oh wow, yes, she was yes. all okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what happens is that because what, you're supposed. The reason your body is like that as a vampire is because, like, biologically, as if they were like an animal of prey or something, it's supposed to draw in their prey, the humans, because they're like physically attracted to you, so they'll get close enough so that you can fight oh, them. Oh, it, it makes them desirable, yeah. so bring them in. Yeah, so they're super, super strong, so mm -hmm. they could like break you in half just with their hands. Okay, so they're powerful, they, yes. And they're super so duper fast. fast, they can run like strong. lightning. Mm -hmm. They're super duper strong. And some of them have like a sixth sense kind of power. Like a special mm -hmm. gift. Mm -hmm. Like a special gift. Mm -hmm. uh, which they also have in their human life, but then gets, like everyone has special gifts in their human life, but then it gets amplified when you become a vampire. Mm -hmm. So like when you kind of like, kind of like have a sense of someone's feelings around you, like then Edward becomes a vampire and then he hears everyone's thoughts. Mm -hmm. So he can read minds. Uh, Alice, Alice can see the future. The only thing that's really like a little like worried about the vampires is that the shiny thing. The shiny because thing. like uh, actually like um, it's a lot to worry about. Yeah, like <laughs> um, who who watches the show? Like and that's a sidetrack. Mm -hmm. But there's another vampire show on HBO. Um, True Blood. Yes. True Blood. They no. also can read minds as well. Yeah, but I'm not and they run fast. fast. <laughs> I actually have not seen it. They're fast. So um, it's too ridiculous. Fairies. I mean, what is that? Yeah, yeah, true play is the storyline. It's the storyline. It's awesome. Good. Okay. No, and the first stage <laughs> combat is awesome. I don't have HBO, so it's I. It's like their competition. Yeah. Um, goes I don't goes. know. Yeah. In the, it's like, come on. They're in the south and the sticks. Everyone's a hick. That's not sexy. There's nothing sexy <laughs> so about, about like, it. Right. No, no, no. Um, it's right. just too much in your face. It's like, <laughs> it's like. Panties from Fredericks of Hollywood. It's trying to be sexy, but it's just I love too it. out there. It's, it's awesome. It's kind of like Twilight. Like Twilight. <laughs> it's kind of yeah. like Twilight. Yeah. Fredericks of Hollywood. It's a vampire thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's something like fairies. It was, right. Yeah, it's a fairy stuff. Though, yeah, it's just the fairy added. Yeah. 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 It is yeah. wolves and stuff. It's not but it just makes yes. it a funnier twist. That so that's the next topic I want to talk about. So and then the werewolves? The, the transformation. So uh -huh. they have werewolves in this movie. Yeah. Yes. They transform into werewolves. They don't transform into normal werewolves. They're huge dog things. Well, yeah. Well, it, I mean, isn't that what a werewolf, a, a wolf is? It's like yeah. a big. Like, yeah, a wolf is a regular ass dog. Those are like those are dire wolves, aren't they? Dire wolves. Yeah, they're they're wolves. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, dow wolves. They're they're, they're yeah. huge breeds of wolves. They're not yeah. as popular, but or as common. But that's the breed of. That's wolves. so. That's what they're supposed to do. Yeah, that's why they're huge. Right. They're like the size of so, horses. The vampires, can they turn the backs? 
No, no, no. no. So they no, can't no, transform. No, no. Only the wolves. There's no can animal there's, crossover for yeah. them. No, there's no animal no, they mutation for the vampires. But if a vampire bites a werewolf, mm -hmm. they die instantly. Their blood and the venom not compatible. Oh. The vampire dies or the werewolf? The werewolf. werewolf. The werewolf. So what if the werewolf bites a vampire? They never explain that? They explain that? Like, what happens if a werewolf bites a vampire? I don't know, because I, I know in the yeah, movies, like, like, they tear them to shreds. Yeah. They're yeah. enemies, in the, like, they, in general. They're mortal enemies. They're mortal yeah. enemies. They're mortal enemies. They're mortal enemies going back, you know, for uh, centuries and so forth. Right. But in, in the Twilight movie, um, the vampires and the werewolves, they come together to a common understanding, not only to protect Bella, because they both care about Bella, but also to like keep a harmonious and you know environment you, where they live because they both occupy the same area or yeah. they live in the same community. So you have to have some sort of understanding or you know harmonious. But just know. the Cullens, not all. Vampires, not all vampires. Just, just the Cullens, the Cullens and have the, the truce with right. the vampires. There's a truce. There's a okay. truce. So, I mean, with the Teresa, girls. you're very quiet over there. I'm, I'm sure you're absorbing all the information like I am. Uh, <laughs> Just do you have a question for these guys about just how you can understand Twilight more? Any questions? I don't know. I, I, I feel like the more I hear about it, like I feel like the more it's probably not for me. Because like, mm. I have like, more, like, I don't know. I, I'm not into vampires and vampire. werewolves <laughs> and like glistening and, and stuff like that. You know, I like more like funny comedies and stuff like that. I mean, this is like something that you obviously need to really like sit down and just like absorb. Yeah. Like, I, right. I have to say though, I'm the same way and I was the same way before. I, I was like totally like boycotting the movies. Mm. I was not into it. I was like, that's not my thing. It's so ridiculous. Like I like things that are true to life. I like things that are poignant. I like things that are funny. And one day I was at my parents' house and my mom was watching it on HBO and I was like making fun of her. Like it was the first one. I was like, mom, are you watching Twilight? <laughs> She's like, shut up, leave me alone. <laughs> and I sat down and Fell in love. I wow. it like sucks you in. It it's like one of you. those movies where it speaks don't, to you. Where you don't want to get up and go to the bathroom. You're like, wait, but what is why is why is mm. she doing what? And oh, it just wow. sucks you into the TV. Mm -hmm. so like she's, it's she's, ripping. She's, it's like one of those things, you know when like you see a really hot guy from across the room and you like don't want to leave? It's like that. I wouldn't yeah. say it's that intense. I it would be <laughs> it was it was intense. I wouldn't say it's like tense. down like it yeah, would be I've like never, nothing known for years and years. I've never stopped because of a hot dog. I've said, well, like, <laughs> that. I, 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 I would hope not. Like, Harry Potter and the Hunger Games, I think they're high up there. I see Harry Twilight. Potter doesn't do it for me, but Hunger Harry, Games I'm into. Harry, Harry Potter's too confusing for me because I'm a little slow. But, <laughs> uh, <laughs> a lot, lot of wizardry going on. Now, okay, you know what? Harry Potter's actually uh, something I want to dabble on mm -hmm. because there's some similarities in Harry Potter and Twilight okay. that I've seen. Um, mm -hmm. In the Harry Potter movies, they mm -hmm. at the end of these movies, I see the trailers, and you guys can go watch the trailers, the links are below, and they have these epic battles in Harry Potter, mm -hmm. and they're like, but they have like little wands, and they're like, yeah, <laughs> that's what they do. That's how they and fight it, with their wands. With their wands. Yes. And in my, and when I saw this, I was like, this isn't epic at all. Yes. It is epic. In, in Twilight. Now it has to turn into my defense of Harry Potter. No, no, no. no. I'm not just Harry Potter. Harry Potter is a great movie. They okay. have like, how many Harry Potter's are there? Eight of them things? There's so many. Like, I don't even they're know. They're very successful. Track. So I'm not just But can I say Robert Pattinson was in Harry Potter and he was so cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so now I go on to Twilight. Twilight, once again, in this Breaking Dawn 2 trailer, there's like this epic battle going on between the vampire and the werewolf. How epic was this battle? Was this battle, what did they do? Because I, I don't see them oh, like they, having chore choreographed oh, No, they do. they do. They're intense choreographed battles and like they like rip each other into pieces and then you have to light the pieces on fire for the vampire to see so, so, so they So they get down in it. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's a fight scene. It's an aggressive fight scene. Fight scene. And, 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 the, and the special effects, mm. can I tell you, it's, it's amazing mm. in the movies. It's particularly um, in, in like Eclipse and Breaking Down Part 1 and 2, the special mm. effects is is amazing in it. And um, 
you know, going back to what you say, the battle scene, it's a, it's a battle scene. Battle I mean, scene. it's like real battle. Like, there's yeah. bloodshed, there's people being lit on fire. Which I read I mean, in, I forget which magazine, but it was like, there's more CGI in the Twilight Saga than in Avatar. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Because, like, I mean, just oh, wow. seeing, like, you hear that, how... that Cameron? They beat you. How'd they beat you, Dan Cameron? <laughs> <laughs> Ten years of Avatar and Twilight beat you? Yeah, and Twilight. it's like, if you just look how, like, scrangly and crazy looking mm -hmm. uh, Kristen Stewart looks, like, when they make her look like, all malnourished from like carrying the vampire baby mm. she did not lose a pound to play that role oh, it was wow. all cgi that wow. they made her look like CGI that made looks oh, wow. i am relieved for the safety oh. of Kristen Stewart. all right so now i wonder if cgi <laughs> can make her look like 10 pounds skinnier <laughs> oh okay i'm okay. relieved that she didn't have to start i'm glad she didn't have to start that's actually very good she's quite thin as it is yeah so i want to move on to the werewolves now so Underworld kind of started this trend where werewolves and vampires are at battle. That was the first real movie where I saw werewolves and vampires battling, being immortal enemies. And Twilight picks up on that. Mm -hmm. The werewolves in this movie, one of the main ones, Jacob. Mm -hmm. um, what's his name? Taylor, uh, Taylor, Taylor Lautner. Taylor Lautner. Mm -hmm. uh, he's in love with Bella. Or yes. he thinks he's in love with Bella. He thinks, he's, he in thinks he's in love with Bella. He thinks he's in love with Bella. So mm -hmm. the first three, how many movies is this guy in? He's in he's all in, of them. He's right? in all, all of them. He's just after this girl. <laughs> yeah. He's all the movies. He stalks her. And then the last, no, hold on. Oh. And from what I understand, now, I'm, it's, it's, it's going to get worse. Because oh. from what I understand, the last movie, he finds out that he's really in love with her baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. So this is true. Okay, hold on. Is a little baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. We gotta see. We gotta see. Please, 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 for them, even okay. if you know it or not, till mm -hmm. they arrive in your life, which is why Edward was 109 when he met Bella, because it's like, it's a long wait. Long wait. And it's like, they, um, werewolves also stop aging when they face, so he'll be, and he's immortal too, so he'll be around for when Renezme is old enough to be there. But it's not even just like a sexual love, it's like this all encompassing, like, she is the reason he was put on the earth was to be with her. Okay, kind of so it's like way. a soulmate thing. Right, it is so like a soulmate. Gonna, so he's not trying to woo the baby. No, no, he's no, not. No, no, no. He's, he's not trying to get with the baby. We got to get with the baby. He's not like some kind of pile or anything. Because he's actually grow up and he married her or something. The baby grew up really fast or something. Yeah, she grows because she's half human, half vampire. So her her growth rate is not of a normal child. So she grows up very quickly. So um. But mm. the, you know, it's, it, which by the time she's, I think, like seven, she'll be like full grown. Girl, and like she'll look like 18. a 20. But she has yeah. a mind of a seven. <laughs> no, no, she's no, grown. Like she no. Her mind grows too. Her mind grows too. Okay. Like she's the able to like learn to that, speak yeah. and like she plays like concertos on the piano when she's mm. like eight months old. Oh, so she, she her, her so mind enhances too, like her months. smartness. Okay. All right. So, um, well, that's a much better example, yeah. Jacob. So I want, I want to keep our, say, I want to keep our Having lost Bella and then having a baby for a second. Well, I well like this the way I now. interpret that scene, because I, I, I will be honest. at least 16 years <laughs> before you can be with your partner. <laughs> you no, the way I interpret it, I was not confused by that scene. I agree with you. I was a little bit confused by by that whole scenario, but when you analyze it, it's like, okay, if, if, if Renesmee is his soulmate, and, and everybody wants their soulmate, everybody's trying to search for that special someone, and he thought that it was Bella, but it's not Bella, it's, it's Renesmee, and he was probably drawn to Bella as a means to get to Renesmee. Definitely. You know, to find his soulmate, and to find the per, and it's not a sexual love or a sexual, mm -hmm. like, um. Well, it will be eventually. So wait, was eventually, he, was he thinking that? Years. Was he thinking, like, okay, <laughs> Uh, or just this is girl named Bella. Uh, she looked no, he like, didn't. No, he was clueless. Like he had no idea. He had he no thought, idea until she was born, and he imprinted on right. her. Right. As soon as he, the baby was born, and he saw her, he and he looked at her, he fell to his knees, and he goes, "Oh my God, it's and her!" And he imprinted it. Yeah, it was the whole imprinting yeah. thing, where it's like the soul. But all the time, moment. he thought it was Bella. That's why he pursued Bella. But Bella. then in the end, he realized that it wasn't Bella. Bella was just a vessel. Or, or a means to get to like who 
he was supposed to like. He was feel drawn it. to Bella energetically, what? so he'd be there for when Renee's married. Right, right. Yeah. and he would I be there to see the last two. By the way, but what is? How does she feel about that, Bella? She was pissed. She <laughs> kicks the shit out of him. She kicks she his ass. Takes him outside and kicks his ass. Okay. She was pissed. It was hilarious. She, it was. She was like kicking his ass. Oh, but she already she had, had a baby. She has Edward. So why is she mad that she? Oh no, she's in love with her baby, and that's creepy. Oh, so she does acknowledge the fact that that's weird. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, like, you imprinted on my baby? You named her no. Nessie after the four I, the, the Loch Ness monster? Oh, the Loch Ness monster? And she like beats the crap out of him. Yeah. But, um, they were worried, like, Bella, you might like really hurt him. And then everyone's like, I'm kind of enjoying this. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, yeah. so, wow. Um, the last two hours. I, I forget what I want to talk about. We have to move back. <laughs> We always have to move back to the sex or kids' male viewers. Okay. okay. All right. So, guys. 109 years he waited? I had 100. trouble waiting 109 minutes. <laughs> this is the thing, <laughs> though. I can't. I mean, that's hard for me. I'm but, like, 109 minutes. I haven't. No. But, like, right, but. are we sure that he's yes. a virgin? Yes. The way, <laughs> sure I, the way I interpreted that is when he said that. No, it says in the book. He's like, saying. Did, did you read the book? No, I did no. not read the book. Oh, that was so going to be my next question. So you it's read in the book. Oh, you yeah. read the book? Yeah. Okay. All right. He's a 109 year old virgin. Wow. Like, he has never had sex. Wow. In the it movie, says so in the, in the movie okay. version, is that what it says? It, it's not clear in the movie. Yeah, because they have different things in the movie. They've cut some stuff out. No, yeah, in the movie, movie, I've watched like the movies embarrassingly, like, probably over 100 times. Oh, wow. So. Dang. Yes. <laughs> it's in there. It's in there. <laughs> That you saw that breaking dog. <laughs> well, break well, you, know, you, you know, you got it takes a while to analyze a sex scene, so you gotta watch it over and over again. Yeah, like it you, you know, but exactly. Oh well, for me, it does. Oh, oh. I'm gonna do oh. a little too much. It takes a while to yeah, watch it. Yeah, you I, wanna like I, watch it and so take notes. So and if Sherry's parents are watching, oh. we're sorry. Yeah. I'll keep it out. I'm not going to keep it out. I mean, you want to like take notes to see why it's so good, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, wow. I think you guys have baby as well I fed. I'm like going to watch it. Along with every other guy who's watching this and his roommate that he called into the room to watch it too. Um, Seriously, like the fastest way to like get in someone's panties, I think, is like on um, Twilight movie. Probably. So remember, so remember that guy. So the fastest. So <laughs> obviously, you have to. Bottle of wine. Twilight. If you want to get, if you want, so you have to go. That's make that's through that's six that's hours that's of Twilight. <laughs> And you then on the third one, right. then yeah, so six hours of foreplay with Twilight, one, no. two, three, <laughs> and then we get to Breaking Dawn, <laughs> then, then uh, then move like, into the bedroom and watch Breaking Dawn in the well, bed. Well, but you gotta be ready because you have to deliver some bread breaking bed. skills. Then you will right. break it like, like, and then that's break a lot of bread. Then break it bed. Well, I mean, you will have baking. I just said bread baking. Bread baking. It's like, it's like, bread baking actually it is like bread baking, it is bun in oven. Oh, that is it. Yeah! yeah. That's, not okay. That's not ideal. That's not ideal. So he was, oh, hold on, so how many times Did have would, you, yeah, would you say they had sex? Because I want to know, he knocked her up pretty fast. <laughs> It was like the second time they had sex. Yeah, the second yeah. time they had sex. But you guys, this is like not just like normal people sex. This is like mind-blowing, awesome, orgasmic sex. Like when so this my friend, did that get your attention, guys? He was like, he was like, <laughs> when, when <laughs> she was like. <laughs> they called somebody. When he was worried them. because she had bruises and she was still a human because he's so strong. And like he felt like bad and he didn't want to like know. touch her because yeah. she was changed after that yeah. and then she was like was it not i mean I, I, it like, was it not good for you and he goes happens all the time you're worried i didn't enjoy myself last night was the best night of my existence oh wow Okay, he was hold on. It was 109 <laughs> years, and the best now, night of his existence was the night they had sex for all 100. Yeah, see, so this is not. So now, <laughs> so now, I, I just thought about something. Okay, I'm, I'm trying okay, okay. To, I'm thinking about the realism because obviously Twilight is about vampires. They're not trying to be super realistic. Mm -mm. But I'm supposed to believe a guy who didn't have sex for 109 years <laughs> was like this. My, and he was like kind of a yeah, and he, he he knew what he was doing. Huh? But wait, tell me. I mean, it's not that complicated if you because he no, said. Yeah. He <laughs> said it. <laughs> so who is brain on? surgery? I mean, I mean, come on, Jay. I mean, it's not no. that complicated. No. I mean, I mean, you think about the first time we two virgins. Wait, what? Yeah, two virgins. virgins. That's what I'm saying. They're, They're virgins. virgins. They're virgins. They're all just gonna and feel good. good. Like, we will all virgins. virgins. All right, all virgins. virgins. Can I just we're, say, we're all virgins. When I was a virgin, it wasn't good for a really long time. No. See? Yeah. It was not. It took a like, long time for Well, time. especially for the male. So like, wait. he was just like. Yeah, he was fine. And, or unless they were. We're always fine. Unless they were. Well, that's the thing. Well, he 
talking about y'all. Y'all know what the Bible is saying. Of the virgin guy. That's what, that's what y'all say. Y'all say this virgin guy didn't know about women for 109 years. Then all of a sudden he's like blowing your back out in bed yeah, like and breaking quote, bed. Yeah, like he quoted that. Like that was the best thing. Because if y'all see 40 year old virgin, 40 year old virgin, he don't know yes. what he's doing. No, no, not the very first time. Though. He catches it the second time. But he catches it the second time. Right? Yeah. You know, see? He catches it. I mean, that was only 40 years. Two times as Imagine, a time, I guess. Yeah, him, yeah. Steve but, Carell times three. She, but right. she liked it a, enough, so she she liked it. So she was, like, going for it, mm -hmm. like, really wanted You know, sometimes it's a little, a rough sex is not bad. You know, it's not that bad. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> so that's so, the moral of the story. That's the moral of the story. All right, so now <laughs> Sherry just took it too far. So we're going to go off the sex around the house. She took it too far. Uh, <laughs> Let's talk about uh, the main actors. Like, uh, I'm relieved to hear that that's part of the appeal of Twilight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had no idea. Oh, See, we're all it's learning. Sex. I had no it's idea. Sex. It's okay. like, okay, just before we. Wait, before we go, okay, we don't, we're going to come back in a second. Five time. minutes to get the mail. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We'll I'll come back. Play. Yeah, same play. Same play. I want, okay. I want to have fresh stuff. Okay. Um, Kristen Stewart? Yes. Yes. Who likes her? Who? Because I've heard some of you guys, even though you love Twilight, you don't like her. And I. Why well, enjoy Kristen Stewart? So you enjoy her, but, but you don't enjoy her. Not so crazy about the Twilight series. I dislike Kristen. You dislike Stewart. her, but you like Twilight. I love Twilight. She's the main star of the movie. Uh -huh. No, been, she's not the main star. She's not. No, she is. She, she is. is. She is. Right. I don't. I call her twitchy. And she's, she's, I've heard this about her acting. She's playing her hair like. Did you see that in this one face? She's like. Haven't seen one. But but does she do this in every film? No. Yes. Wait. No. 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 Wait. The ways where she plays Joan Jet. She was amazing. She, she was, was pretty good, good in the runway. In the runway. Well, well I saw Snow White and the Huntsman with her, and she maybe she just needs just to do the smaller films. It seems like the larger pictures, maybe. But yeah. but somebody saw her and said, "Hey, I want this girl to be the lead in the next five or six well, movies." Well, the way is, she was in like, um, a movie before it. It Panic was based Room. off a book. Was it Panic Room? No. She was a daughter in Panic Room. Yeah, she was a daughter in Panic Yeah, she was a daughter in Panic She was good in Panic Room. She was good in Panic She was good in Panic Room. She was 10 in Panic Room. Right, right. She was 16 when they started this movie. Twilight, she was only 16. She was But somebody looked at her and said, this girl has talent, I'm going to put it. Well, this is what happened. This is what happened. I watched the the special, like the making of special with Catherine Hardwick, who was the director on the first one, and there was... A call, final callbacks for mm -hmm. the Bellas and the Edwards, and they paired them up and brought them in to Kath, at Catherine Hardwick's house mm -hmm. in her bedroom, and she mm -hmm. had them do the kiss scene on her bed. Wow! wow. And even the auditions of Bob's like, okay. And the couple that had the most sexual chemistry, chemistry was the one that got it, and the one that got her the most all hot and bothered doing that scene was Edward and Kristen. So regardless of how well she acted, any of the other scenes didn't matter. Didn't matter. Catherine Hardwick said her deciding factor was that moment. And, I, and you know what? I have to admit, did, whose house was it? What's the place? Catherine Hardwick. Hardwick. You are a smart woman. She's a big fan <laughs> of the show. She watches all the time. I'm sure she's watching right now. Uh, Hi, Catherine. You're smart because obviously that sexual you appeal is what got, it yeah. really got Caitlin excited. <laughs> about her. And Sherry and excited about that. So you, I think she knew what she was doing. And she well, yeah, she was a big part of what attracted yes. people and keeping long-time fans. Exactly. Like, right, and you have to understand, right. like, um, Kristen Stewart isn't an amazing actress, but mm, she no. was typecast because she physically... She looked fit like the a description physical, yeah. of Bella based okay. on the book. Because, mm -hmm. see, it's different when you're, you're, you're already, you know, it's not like a brand new screenplay. It's right. based on the book. So she, out of everybody that auditioned, fit the description of Bella. Okay. And then when... Obviously, you know, the two main actors have to have some really, really good chemistry. And, of course, she had that with uh, Robert Pattinson. And, you know, I'm sure she had to make up with a lot of guys to get to Robert Pattinson. But she did. <laughs> you know, I mean, right. but that's all part of the job. It's all part of the job. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot to say about Twilight. There's so many. I had no idea it would be this much content. <laughs> so, in, in, the, in the meaning of the cinema couch, we would do a part two. <gasps> To uh, this, <laughs> if I, yeah, that was from Twilight. Um, <laughs> we're gonna do a part two. Twi hard, don't get it. You guys get it. Twi hard. Uh, that's, what, okay. that's what we call ourselves. Twi, twi hard. Uh, okay. Twi hard. A good day to twi hard. Um, <laughs> 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 okay, so we're gonna do part two. I'm gonna have all you guys back. We'll talk about this some more because I really feel like this obviously uh, deserves a, a part two. Um, it it's the prettiest. Yeah. Yeah. Can I say something? Yeah, say something. I want to know if she's going to go see it. Yeah, you're going to go see it. Oh, yeah. Did they convince you? 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 Did they
convince you yes, to go check Netflix. out Quality. I don't know, maybe, but I'd really have to like get like you know I gotta watch all of my Iron Chefs and all this other <laughs> stuff like out of the get them out. Do of we the need way to get you then. like some alcohol before you watch it? <laughs> I'll pass out. Oh, okay. I have that Asian gene where like I pass out when I drink. Mm. Oh, okay. 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 Um, you guys have me a break in. So <laughs> we're gonna watch all those. Uh, Okay, so stay tuned guys. Part two will be coming out hopefully very soon. I'm gonna get these all these guys back. And thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us guys. See you later. Bye. Bye.